Yo, it's your boy Tiz, one third of the partners. I'm back on my blog and shit. Had to hurry up and get this recap in. Um, Danny versus ours. Danny versus ours. Um, this was a crazy, 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 crazy battle. Um, I'm definitely giving it to Danny 3-0. Definitely giving it to Danny 3-0. Um, we start off in round one. Um, I really did coming into this battle think Ars was going to win. Um, he had been more consistent as of late. And, you know, Danny had had a couple of chokes out of his last four or five battles. So I was expecting the cleanest performance to be from Danny. I mean, from Ars, but Danny was cooking, bro. Uh, round one, he had the whole breakdown of Arsenal's career. Um, Basically saying how, you know, Arsenal has reached all these peaks in battle rap. He basically ended that with, I can't take nothing from you, but your life. Love that bar. Um, he gave a rundown of Arsenal's runouts. Um, I didn't even know past the trick trick job that Arsenal had, had that many gangster run-ins where he didn't show up. So that was kind of crazy. Um, the UNLV line was crazy. The pale in comparison. Um, Danny was cooking round one. He was punching back to back. He was in this bag. Um, Ars round one. Um, he did the 70s baby intro. It was cool if you liked the little jokey joke type thing. That's cool, but I didn't really, it didn't hit for me. Um, he had a stringing you along bar that was kind of cool. Then he got to stumbling. You could tell Ars was like his brain was going faster than, his, than he could keep up with. Um, and he got to stumbling. Then he got, got back on his stuff with the don't, don't got to be obese to die over weight line. I thought that was hard. Then he got into this weird Jay-Z flip. You got to see it, but... That was corny to me, bro. I, I, I was not feeling that at all. I, I'm not a big fan of taking somebody else around and trying to revamp it. To your, like, just go ahead and spit your own original stuff. It's kind of corny to me, but whatever. Um, then he chokes and starts going, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. At the end of the round. So it just ended really awkwardly. So round one, I had Danny up 1-0. Um, we get into round two. Danny had to take it back to the beginning line. The broke down. The, he broke down Arsene's whole crew. Um, it kind of ended that off with, you know, with the Genghis Khan, mind goals, mind goals bar. Um, he's talked about being gang affiliated versus active. I thought that was amazing because um, I definitely know a little bit about that personally. And it is a big difference. You can tell the difference between somebody who's affiliated and somebody who was really in that or who's really putting in pain. Um, Arts then came in with his second round. Um, he talked about the saga and the afterlife watching porn. Dead beat. I thought that was a fire bar. Um, he had the wheelchair stand up, nigga bar. Um, and then when he started, at, like he kind of got into the back into the Vicky bars again. I feel like just joking on Danny uh, Myers and his wife is kind of old at this point. We've heard pretty much every way you could do it. B Dot has done it really well. Um, Mike P did it really well. So after those two, it's really just kind of over overblown at this point. It, it's time to move on and find a new angle. Um, and then he ended the whole second round with talking about Danny Myers' four daughters. I thought that just came across his lane after the uh, basically a round full of filler from ours. It just didn't have that same sting. Had he ended it with that after he had had like some really fire haymakers before that, it might have hit harder. But for me, it just fell flat. So Danny up 2-0 going into round three. Round three, Danny had the bomb on the house, nuclear family, um, told a few thugs, built Told told on a few thugs, built your battle league, ended up being the same nigga you dub when he was talking about race swag snitching. Um, he had uh, can't give Arsenio semi or Arsenio semi. I thought that was hard. And he did. Uh, he talked about, you know, you can't even bump me being from the Aces click. I mean, you know, Ace, Ace, I mean, his click is known as the Aces click. So I, I get it. Um, and, you know, Loaded Lux be talking about Aces Click as well. He had just come off of talking about uh, battling Loaded. So I thought that was a pretty, you know, solid round three. It wasn't as crazy as them first two rounds for me. But Danny had a decent uh, round three. Ars came in. He was like, one fight, we all fight mood swing. I thought that was hard. Then he got back into some old bars, mixtape type stuff, um, started talking about Danny's wife again. And then he did a weird phone antic where he had his daughter saying something like Danny Myers is a bad dad or something like that. Just came across as corny after a lot of the fill in the mixtape bars. Um, so all in all, I got Danny winning 3-0. It's pretty clear to me. Um, Arch just didn't seem on his game this time after coming off of two back-to-back -back crazy performances. Um, Arch just didn't, he didn't look like he really cared and it, it showed. So Danny... Three zero, easy money. I'm out.